Hi everybody, my name is Miss Lindor. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Miss Lindor. Today is all about test prep and thinking about our plan of attack. So let's get it started. So if you're watching this video, you're most likely taking a test or a test is in your near future. So it's our job to make sure you are acing that test um, and you feel com feeling comfortable as the test is approaching. So let's think about why you should have a plan. Having a plan helps us stay prepared. It feels great to walk into a situation knowing that you have the exact skills, you have the exact knowledge of what to do when you see certain type of questions. And so that's what that's what that's why we have our plan of attack. Confidence. You want to be able to say, I know how to answer this question. I can't be fooled. I know that because I've seen this question before, right? You want to have that confidence whenever you approach anything. And lastly, you need the energy. Certain tests can be very long, right? It, it can be it can be very strenuous or it can be very, it can take a lot of time. But if you're using these habits and these skills the first time around, you're conserving your energy. And then you'll also notice that it's taking you less time to answer the questions correctly the first time. So now that we know why we have a plan, let's hop into our plan. So first things first, you're gonna read and annotate the text. So when I talk about annotations, um, those annotations means notes that are related to the genre of the text that you are reading. So nonfiction, fiction, poetry. Those are the genres that you guys tend to see. Um, if you're thinking about nonfiction, you're thinking about what is the author teaching you? What is the point of view? Um, with poetry, you're thinking about the literal meaning and the deeper meaning. And with fiction, you think about what is the character, the problem, the solution, and the lesson learned. Now, the second step is our central idea. So now that you guys have had all of those notes that you've taken on those specific things, you're going to synthesize your understanding into a central idea. One thing that you'll find is that a lot of the questions that you will answer ask you to go back to your central idea. So it's kind of like it's a shortcut. It's, it, you're already thinking about the questions that you're going to ask that you're going to be asked before you answer them. Okay, let's continue. So. The next part of this plan of attack, now it's time to attack the questions, okay? So we have to think, what is the question asking me to do? In order to conserve that time, to conserve that energy, we need to make sure that we're actually answering the question that's being asked. The second thing is, what is my plan to answer? So when I say plan, I'm not just thinking about, oh, I'm going to go back to the test. That's big. That can apply to any situation. Right. So when I say plan, I think about what are what are specific things I'm going to do? So what specific part of the text would I go back to? What specifically would I think about? Those are things that are more specific that help me understand my plan. So let's test this out. Um, let's test out these um, one and two on sample questions. So um, I'm going to read this question out loud in a second. We're going to think about what is the question asking me to do? So, how do the details about the Great Depression in lines 40 through 43 contribute to the development of the article? Hmm. So, I'm thinking about a couple of things. So, I see that it talks about lines 40 to 30, so I know that's one section that they're referring to. I see contribute. And so, whenever I see the word contribute, I know that it kind of reminds me of, like, how does it help me understand? And I see development of the article. So, I think that's also discussing, like, the, the central idea of the article. So I think what the question is asking me to do is how do lines 40 through 40 through 43 help me understand the central idea? So I had to think carefully about those key words that I saw in order to really think about what the question was asking me to do. All right, let's move on to the next part. Um, what is my plan to answer? So the question is, which statement best expresses the author's point of view in the article. So I think the question is asking, like, what is the author's point of view? And so my plan, I, I want to think about what is the best place to go back to? And so I know um, I already written my, my, my point of view and my central idea. So that's going to be the first place I go back to. Now, the second thing I want to do is I want to match. I want to compare my answer choices to what my point of view says. So if my point of view says something, I want to make sure that the answer choice I choose um, is similar to what um, the answer choice says. So I'm gonna match. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to my central idea and look at the point of view. And the second thing I'm gonna do is match my point of view 
with the answer choices that are given. That is my specific plan. So we have our plan of attack, but let's recap to make sure we all got it. First things first, we are going to annot- read and annotate. Again, we're thinking about the genre to help guide the notes that we take. Then we will write a central idea. Again, what is the whole text about? As we approach the questions, we'll think, what is the question asking me to do? Like, what is it saying before I answer? And then next, what make a plan. What specifically will I do first, next, and last to make sure that I'm answering the question correctly the first time around? All right, y'all. You guys have this. With this plan of attack, you will be you will ace any test that comes your way. You'll knock it out the park. Um, thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.